over here at the Ram Man. Well, we're gonna go through a little process right here. We're gonna disassemble these worn hubs. These worn hubs are made for Forge, and these are used with the big bearing systems and uh, of course they've got a cage needle bearing down in the bottom right here that's what takes all all the load and you can replace these things we've got them right there you can replace them so essentially these uh, locking mechanisms are rebuildable because nothing else wears out the big gear teeth don't wear out and the spring doesn't wear out so, and uh, we'll take this little gear out here, the main driven gear, it's just got this little clip right here. That was pretty easy, sees that little clip, and then of course, Mr. Gear just slides right out, and there's that needle bearing right there. Now, he can be, he can be a little bit difficult to get out, well, first of all, we need to uh, pop off the uh, cap, insert a screwdriver in there, and then you can just lift these fingers out. There we go. It's disassembled, so that's how we take off the beauty cap. Now we're going to get over here to getting this gear out. Now, what we do, of course, we try to make it simple, and we use things around here. This gear is actually captured by these partial prongs right here if you can look real close there's eight of them one two three four five six seven eight which prevents this gear from coming out so what we found that works is you can take you some little metal tabs some tin snips or some little metal tabs and you can put these little metal strips and uh, knock those tabs back a little bit. And if you look, see right here, so we inserted these metal tabs all the way around, and we got a rubber band, doubled it up, and then slipped it over here, and of course it holds the, the uh, tabs out so that we can slide the gear out. So once we've done that, we can gently push the gear out, all the way around there we go comes out there's the spring the other gear comes out now all we have to do is very carefully just tap this bad boy out tap our brand new cage needle bearing in there and of course reassemble this bad boy so pay attention to what you're doing you can see it's not that difficult anybody can do it as long as he takes his time thinks through it and uh voila replace that bearing in there and you've got you a new set of hubs so all right my friends uh happy four wheeling god bless you god bless america be good